guys Cody here with another video for you guys today and today I'm gonna be showing you guys a really cool collection uh, to some people I am a big fan of my childhood and this one movie that I feel like a, I don't know maybe 0.5% of the population actually likes and looks back fondly on is uh, Inspector Gadget which came out in 1999 and I have accumulated some pretty cool things that I want to show you guys today this is my Inspector Gadget movie collection. Go, gadget, go. Let me start off by saying that this movie has a lot of sentimental value to me and I've worked my way into collecting some stuff that I don't think has ever been documented on YouTube. So we're gonna go check those things out right now. So the first thing I'm gonna show you guys here, this is a, a UK released poster and I think it's like one of two different posters that they have released where you have Matthew Broderick actually flying with the helicopter hat, which I've never understood why this image was used like very little. Like the most attractive thing about like Inspector Gadget when it comes to his like actual gadgets is his helicopter hat. It's almost like, you know, Batman's cape or his cowl or just Superman's S. I feel like that this represents Inspector Gadget very well and it never was used in any American poster. So when I found out that they were doing posters outside of the country, I had to look for this specific one. And as you can see, really nice image of Matthew Broderick as Inspector Gadget. And it says, go, go Gadget right there with the logo at the bottom and that U right there, you guys can see. This is a UK quad poster and it's actually very hard to find. So yeah, this poster is like one of my favorite things. I love looking at it, the colors, you got like the purples and reds and stuff, but it's always going to be that image of Inspector Gadget flying around with the helicopter hat. That's gonna get me every time. And of course, next up we have the McDonald's Inspector Gadget figure right here. I'm sure everybody somehow, some way has a relative memory of this specific figure and it's always an amazing piece so of course i want to show it to you guys in detail i have done a video on this before but not in a long time so uh yeah this is a massive piece by the way uh, i don't think mcdonald's toys actually take the liberty of doing something like this anymore last time i checked i've seen them doing cardboard toys yeah ridiculous Back in 1999, which was not that long ago, I mean, it's almost been 25 years, but still very, very little effort is put into these toys. And, you know, I think this is probably the pinnacle of like McDonald's toys because it came in different pieces. First off here, we're gonna break it down piece by piece. We have the helicopter hat right here. This is the bane of my existence because this is the one that I got every single damn time <laughs> in my Happy Meal. But again, this is the piece that I would expect to be with Inspector Gadget. And as you can see, it makes noise. It's a noise maker. So it's a siren hat from what I've heard. So this is, this is pretty cool. And the sound comes out like this, which is pretty awesome. This annoyed my mother beyond extent. And then of course you have this, oh, don't wanna drop him. Uh, then we have, he comes apart so easily. Then we have this watch right here, which does not work. 
none of the batteries work on some of this stuff, but this is his like watch slash belt. And as a kid, you were able to actually wear this. It's pretty stylish. So yeah, that acted as his belt. Then we had this little communicator device right here. So this was his chest piece right there. You flip this piece down and push the button. This was just a really cool little piece right here. So yeah, that, that is pretty awesome. Next up we have the water gun squirter right here. Uh, this is supposed to be from that scene where he had the toothpaste coming out. So yeah, this is supposed to be like a water gun. Nothing too special going on there. Then we have the french fry grabber. I used to always use this thing. It's uh, obviously an extendo arm right here. And uh, hi, hi. Uh, <laughs> so we have that and it's able to pick up things. I, I really don't know if I have anything over here that, oh, well, let's just use the watch. Actually, it might be pretty easy to do. So let's, let's see if we could pick up the watch with this. Aha, beautiful. And there it goes. So yeah, that was a pretty little, like, cool little piece right there. Put that to the side. Then this is the main piece right here. I think it looks enough like Matthew Broderick. It's not bad, but this is a um, pretty good representation, I guess, of Robo Gadget's endoskeleton. I'm guessing the same design applies to him because we never actually see all this detail on Matthew Broderick's Inspector Gadget character, but his evil twin Robo Gadget, this is where the spider would actually be the little tarantula and stuff. But if you push down on his head, it's a sparker, which kids fire, <laughs> which is pretty awesome. And then the two leg pieces, unfortunately, uh, this piece right here has broken over time, but this is supposed to act as a little like flashlight. A green light would come out of here. And of course the leg would extend, but this is the button that would act as the light right here. And this one is a multi-purpose tool right here. So you flip this leg out and then we have some pliers. Okay, I don't think that's gonna be much of uh, any use. And we have a flathead screwdriver. Yay. <laughs> That's what kids need to learn how to use tools. So yeah, of course, we would be able to assemble him with no problem. Next up, we have here, this is gonna be pretty awesome for some of you guys. This is an official photo signed by Matthew Broderick right here. It's a black and white photo with his signature on it. And it's a picture of him as Inspector Gadget holding this really nice little Riverton Police Department badge. And uh, yeah, this is pretty awesome to have. I did get it certified and stuff like that. This did come from a reputable source. Uh, I follow a group on uh, Facebook called the RACC Real Autograph Collectors Group. And these guys, they know where to go when it comes to getting celebrity autographs. And this was actually signed in 1999. So the year that the movie came out, this is pretty awesome to have. I have proof of it getting signed and everything. So having Matthew Broderick on an Inspector Gadget photo, that is a trip right there. <laughs> The next thing here are some CDs, and I'm gonna go over in great detail on these CDs because there's some things in it that are just ridiculous. So the first thing here, we have the uh, music from and inspired by the motion picture Inspector Gadget. This is a UK release CD right here. And uh, in America, we never actually got a soundtrack for this movie, and um, it's a shame. Uh, I do not understand why, because there is some music actually that was relative to the, um, I guess the era that this movie came out. Uh, I remember that All Star with Smash Mouth was actually in, in the movie, uh, when, uh, Penny and Brain are sitting there, like, bouncing to the music and she's eating Skittles in a gadget mobile. Uh, but, uh, of course, the main song on here that is the only song that was in the movie that is on the CD, um, 
uh, is Youngstown's I'll Be It You Are Everything. However, this is the, um, I don't remember what it was called. I think it was called the like DJ edit or something like that. And uh, it's not the movie version of the song because I don't know if anybody knows this, there are two different versions of this song and I'll play it right now. So most people would, you know, get the song from the movie, this version right here. And then you have the version that's on this CD that has a completely different lyric change. So yeah, this, this CD, <laughs> Uh, everything's wrong about this CD except for the fact that it has a Youngstown CD or a song on it that was in the movie. And as you can see, track one, I'll Be Your Everything. It says album version, so not DJ version. Every other song from this movie or on this CD is not in the movie at all. As a matter of fact, they put some stupid ass like harmonized version of the Titanic theme in here. I don't understand it. You think I'm joking? This is what it sounds like. <laughs> but yeah, this is the official music from and inspired by the motion picture for Inspector Gadget right here. And uh, inside we have the uh, the disc, of course, looking like a little uh, gadget gear right there. You have the back right there, of course. And um, we got a picture of Robo Gadget, which is pretty awesome right there. And uh, some promotion for Youngstown. What a throwback, right? I mean, this is pretty cool to see. So there's that. But uh, then, just as you saw in that promotion, there was another CD right here. This is the single for Youngstown's I'll Be Your Everything with the Inspector Gadget poster on the front there. And uh, there's some extra songs and stuff going on here. Do you know what name's attached to this, by the way? Guys, Power Ranger fans. I want you guys to look at this real quick. I was looking completely in the wrong area, but I'll Be Your Everything was actually written by Haim Saban and Shuki Levy. Power Ranger fans, you must know those names. <laughs> the Haim Saban who brought Power Rangers to America and Shuki Levy who I believe had a lot of influence on Power Rangers and how it was you know, produced and stuff like that. He also, I believe, did the theme song for the original Inspector Gadget uh, theme song. Uh, so yeah, their names are attached to the song I'll Be Your Everything right there, which is, it's pretty crazy. But inside we have just the single right there. That's what the disc looks like and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. So this next CD, this is a very rare treat because this CD has never actually been shown off or documented on video anywhere. There are very few photos of this specific CD, but this is the score, the com uh, composed music of John Debney, who did the music for Inspector Gadget. This CD consists of all the composed music that was in the movie. And yeah, this is a very, very rare CD. Um, I managed to get a hell of a deal on this and I was very surprised by it. Now I have every single CD that is related to this movie. And the background music, like I said, uh, it's pretty awesome. I really like the, yeah, the music uh, that they did, the way that they did it, but there's a side right there. And here's the back, we have the track list. It's essentially, you know, of course, the breakdown of all the, you know, I guess, different scenes that had different background music in it. So, of course, you also have the Inspector Gadget theme song and stuff like that. But that's John Debney right there, which is pretty cool. We open it up. This is what we get on the inside. John Debney has also did, uh, you know, musical scores for movies for... Other films, of course, here you have The End of Days, Lost and Found, Dick, My Favorite Martian, Elmo and Grouchland, uh, Polly a Parrot's Tale, I Know What You Did Last Summer, The Relic, and Liar Liar. Here's the disc right here. And uh, yeah, there's pretty much nothing else to it. That is one of the rarest 
movie scores on CD right there. Very, very cool to have this. Very actually, I'm very happy to add this to the collection. All right, guys, so last up, I wanted to save this for last. This is my official, original 1999 theater promotional vinyl banner. This is a 72 by, I wanna say 40 uh, poster or banner that's made out of really nice vinyl material right here. It's very thick vinyl and it's a double-sided vinyl banner. As you can see, it says Inspector Gadget right there. Go, go, July 23rd. You have the logo right there of him in the gear with that really nice red and black gear background. But on the other side, we have Matthew Broderick as Gadget right here. So our hero, Inspector Gadget, go, go this July. The nice image of Matthew Broderick and the name Gadget right there. This is pretty cool. I was really happy to get this. I got it so cheap for like 20 bucks on eBay at one point and it was in perfect condition. Came with the dowel and everything. So I hang this up proudly in my living room uh, next to all my movies and stuff like that. Big part of my childhood. Anyway guys, that is my Inspector Gadget movie collection. No, I do not have the DVDs or anything like that. Those are pretty simple to show off, but showing stuff like this off, it's always fun to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me what your favorite item that you saw in this collection was. Comment below and let me know if you enjoyed this movie when you were a kid. As always, I'll be back with more videos soon. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Cody's House of Geek and go check out the rest of the videos on my channel. See y'all there.